1934. Germany builds a 32-kilometer stretch of underground fortifications along the then border with Poland. Although never used during the war, the tunnels fell out of use by the late 1950s and were largely abandoned. Today, the tunnel system lies within Western Poland and tours take visitors around the remnants of this massive structure. But since the end of the war, a very different type of occupation has taken place by creatures that are seldom seen. So what are they and why are they here? Let's find out. The tunnel system known as Nyeta Perig now lies underneath agriculture and villages. Fragments of the above ground bunkers still dot the landscape. The forest entrance still exists and has been welded up to prevent anybody from getting in. Curiously, the tunnel system's air temperature remains relatively stable which gives us a clue to what might be residing within. Another clue can be found on the steel grill of the entrance, remains of its last meal. I've joined British and Polish researchers who are studying the creatures that make these tunnels their home. As darkness descends, we set up mist nets, ready to catch anything that might have made its way out of the tunnels. But soon, the team is inundated. Nobody knows how they found the tunnels, but now, Nyetaperic is one of the biggest hibernation sites for bats in Central Europe. We're here in late summer during the swarming season, when certain species of bat congregate to mate. by using a number of different cameras, including infrared and thermal imaging. We're able to glimpse into the world of these nocturnal mammals. Throughout the year, only a small number of bats actually reside in the tunnel system. This includes a small maternity roost of greater mouse-eared bats, found in an old pump station, which once circulated air around the tunnels. However, during winter, an estimated 20 to 30,000 bats take up residence in the tunnels. Bats come to Nyetiperic to hibernate because it provides them with a stable environment to survive in during the harsh Central European winters. During hibernation, the bats' body temperature lowers and their metabolic rate slows down so they can survive on fat reserves during winter when food is scarce. So Nyetiperic is essentially an artificial cave and a big one at that. Every winter, an international team carries out a census of the hibernating bats. Dr. Tomasz Kukurowicz has led this project and carried out the winter census for over 10 years. I talked to him about the census and what species are found at Nietoperic. The winter bat censuses are organized in Nietoperic to monitor the population number. Of, uh, of bat species hibernating there. There are 12 bat species uh, spending winter here. So the most numerous are five of them. So the most numerous now is uh, a greater mouse-eared bat, Myotis Myotis. Uh, the second numerous is Daubenton's bat, Myotis Daubentoni. The third is uh, Natterer's bat, Myotis Natterelli. The fourth is uh, Plecotus auritus, so brown long-eared bat. And the fifth is Barbastel. So Nyetiperic is home to a diverse assemblage of bat species. It's actually the eighth largest bat hibernation site in the EU. Bats travel from all over Central Europe, as far as 260 kilometers to hibernate here making it extremely important for the Central European bat population. This importance has been recognized internationally 
not only by the Polish government, but by the European Union as well. And since the 1980s, Nieteperic has become a protected bat reserve. The winter census, as well as swarming and the other connected research, hopes to build a better picture of bat populations here and the threats they face. Nieteperic is obviously a very important place for bats and other wildlife too, but what about its future? Although conflicts between people who want to use the tunnels and conservationists exist, the bat population here is largely protected. The majority of species are experiencing an increase in population, and the site's protection will benefit other wildlife too. Yet Eperic seems to be a success story. If you want to find out more about Nieta Peric, or other episodes about our nocturnal friends, check out the links in the description below. Catch you later!